this is Bradley. Today I'm going to talk to you about an online learning resource called Lifelike. Currently, Lifelike is offering an extended trial period of their online remote learning resources. To utilize this, we're just going to use the code learn on with an exclamation point at the end. That can be obtained if we click here on the learn more tab. Right now, since we know it, I'm going to go ahead and skip that step. If you need to create an account, you can create an account with the create account button. You'll just need to use an email and set up a password. Since I already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now that we're logged in, we can see there are three major tabs across the top here. There's Curriculum and PD in blue, Interactive 3D in orange, and My Library in yellow. But before we go into any depth, we want to use that code to make sure we get our free extended trial. So we're going to go ahead and click the person icon in the top right corner, and then click My Account. The code we have is considered a license key, so we're going to go ahead and say Enter a license key. As I said, it is Learn On with an exclamation point. And so to utilize this, we'll simply type that in and click the Submit button. Once we've clicked our Submit button, we'll see that we've received an extended trial period. Now we can go back to explore the resources Lifelike offers. In the blue Curriculum and PD tab, there will be lessons and other activities which we can sort by grade. We can sort them by other things as well, but grade is really the most helpful one in most cases. So let's go ahead and pick a grade and we'll see what kind of resources they have for that grade. Here we can see there are 15 different resources available for the third grade. If we click into one, we'll see that we're provided with information like the expected duration, the grade, and any other relevant information. Now you'll notice here there's a tap slash click to activate button. This will activate a 3D model. Once that's activated, we're able to scroll in to zoom in, scroll out to zoom out, and if we click and drag, we can move around it. That's the basic interactivity in this form. If we click on this icon that looks like a desktop monitor in the bottom right hand corner, we'll go into a full interactive model section. Here they label the body parts, which if clicked, highlight the body part identified while graying out the other parts. We can also click introduction, which will show us information about the animal or other object in front of us in this 3D model. We click the back arrow at the top left, it'll take us back to our lesson plan. As we scroll down, we're going to see that there's an overview, objectives, and some keywords, in addition to activities and information to share. You can use this to create your own lesson plan if you're teaching from home, or someone could just read it if they're really interested. Once we go back out, we can explore go back out, we click the back arrow in the top left, which will take us back to our main screen. We'll continue on to the interactive 3D section in orange. Here we're going to see various models, which are included in many of the lesson plans, but here they're organized by a topic, and it's a little more interesting to go through some of these if we're just looking for a quick activity that we can maybe show something. Here we can see that this model has some action included with it, unlike our previous model. We still have all the names. We can hide the names of the, item, the body parts if we want to have a game where we can like guess the different body part names. And we can confirm it by showing the names. The introduction button is still here to give us that information, but in this section we also have a related section. The related button brings up a list of models of related topical interest. Here we can see that many of these are dinosaurs since we're in the dinosaur section. Not all the 3D models are animals. 
Some are just simple objects. Here we can see that this is the cut through of a trunk of a tree. It includes the different parts of the trunk of the tree, information about the tree, and then the related objects are other pieces of the tree or similar trees. So we have pine cones, another type of tree, and even a fungus. In the interactive section, the models aren't simply limited to flora and fauna. There are also models for things like physics and the different ideas explained in physics, chemistry, geology, astronomy, and other topics as well. So you can see here, it's quite extensive. The My Library section will show you what you've done recently. So if you want to revisit something or if you're simply looking to see what you've done, this is a helpful section to kind of review what you've done. On the top left, there's a menu button. Here we can skip the three main categories if we have a specific topic we're looking to study. So if we wanted more information specific to astronomy, we could click astronomy and it would take us directly to all the astronomy related models. You can also search from anywhere on the website by going to the search bar at the top center of the page. You can filter your results by the content types you might be interested in, or you can leave it unfiltered by leaving it on all. If there are results for your term, you'll see them displayed below, grouped by the content types. If you click show more, it'll show you only that one content type which is helpful if there's a variety or a large number of content available for that particular keyword. This concludes our overview of the online learning resources provided by Lifelike. We hope you have a great day.